Welcome back to Team Wild TV's Field Target Masterclass with Mark Bassett. If you haven't seen the first episode looking at Mark's beautifully crafted Field Target rifle, click on this link. For those who have, here's Mark's advice on finding your perfect shooting position. With regards to Field Target shooting, about 60-70% of your shooting is literally in the sit-in position, which is... There's various different types of positions that you'll see if you ever go to a, a, a field target competition. But this is generally the more common sort of position or position that you get in. Now what you find, you have the, what they call like a triangle position. Your feet apart, and that's your triangle there. It's more, st more stable, such as martial arts, you've got the wide stance. You know, this is the type of thing, the position that I'm in myself. Now, for myself, I'm quite comfortable to have my legs quite far apart. I feel very stable in that position um, and for me this is definitely by far the most comfortable position for me for shooting and sitting. Within field target shooting the wind is the biggest factor um, that helps us miss targets, miss the kill zone on the target. What I find is if I, if I sit right back into my actual sitting position, I'm holding the gun at one of the furthest far, uh, far forward points of the rifle. So for myself when it is quite windy I'm actually nice and stable. Um, the wind doesn't buffet me off the target much at all. Where a lot of people, if they shoot a lot further forward, they're a lot more off balance. The gun is more for further forward, so the weight distribution is further forward, so they get quite a lot of effect from the wind itself. Where I sit right back into the, into the actual position itself, I'm actually nice and stable, and to be honest with you, I'm, as sitting positions go, I'm very, very steady. In my, in my opinion, this is, for myself, the best sitting position or type of position for me. The process I go through, because I've got a couple of extra gadgets such as a spirit level, a windicator, I got Butler Creek covers on the front of the scope. The system I go through is, it is robotic in the end, you do get to the stage where it is, it is the same at all the time. I'll put the windicator first, spirit level, I'll then flip the actual Butler Creek up and then I'll cock the rifle, load the pallet, put it in, for instance, if that the tree down there is my target, I'll then start range finding the actual tree. See how far it is for me, which is 38 yards. What I'll do again then is just check it again, just to make sure. Again, 38 yards. What I would then do is dial for that distance, which I know is minus four clicks from zero on within this scope. Look at the wind, see where it's coming from. I'm looking at my windicator now, it's showing me that it's left to right. It's not very heavy, it's quite a light wind. If it was a 40 mil kill, which is our largest size kill zone that we have on target, I would look at that and say, well, I, the wind is going to take me around 10, 15 mil. Now the, the kill zone itself is 40 millimeters wide, so I know then if I stay inside left edge, because it is showing me left to right, that I would stay within that kill zone area. So that would be my shot then for that, uh, for that particular target. Then I'd look through the scope, see what I'm looking at, see, pick my point. Within field target shooting, um, it's either a 40 or 50 shot course, depending if it's a Grand Prix course, which is a British series, that'll be 50 shots. Within a 50 shot series, you'll have six discipline shots called kneeling shots. Now for a kneeling shot, as you can see, it's a three, as again, it's a three point points of contact. Two of the feet and the, the, leading, uh, the trailing knee makes up, as I'm a right-hander, this is how I would kneel personally. Within field target shooting, there are certain rules that you have to uh, go by. The fore end of the stock is not allowed to touch the forearm or of any uh, spot of it. The only point of contact is literally your hand. What they also look at your wrist should be clear of your knee, so at least there's no you're not gaining any sort of advantage. Uh, where if you were actually shooting like that, it's a lot more steady, or along the arm type thing. That that is a lot more steady than what it would be, literally just off the hand. If you can see underneath, you can see there's a good inch of clearance under there. So. If anyone ever said, oh, how do you kneel? I can show them there's a nice clear gap underneath. So it's, it's a nice stable position. Again, same as my sitting position, I have got quite a wide kneeling position where I do bring the gun right back. So it's, the center of balance is brought back into my body. So it's not off balance and I'm quite stable then in that position.
Right, the third position and final position in field target shooting is the standing position. Out of all the three positions, this is the one that's deemed to be the hardest of the three. For obvious reasons, there's no support with the sitting, you can sit down, kneeling, you can cut into the position. The standing position, you are freestanding, which makes it a lot, little bit more difficult. The, if there is a wind in the, um, on the course itself, it does make a big difference and makes it a lot harder shot. Now, a lot of people ask, how do I do my standing position shooting? I've got a lot, my standing position is massively different to most people that I've ever shot with. Reason being, I'm a, I'm a big bloke, I'm big across the chest and the back, so my standing position is more like a hunter's type position where my leading arm is quite far forward on the fore end of the stock. Now a lot of people adopt more towards like the match rifle type shooting of position where their hand is quite far back, just in front of the trigger. Where for myself, my standing position is, is personally by there. And that is nice and comfortable for myself. Personally, I'm very stable in that position. Um, the gun centre of balance is approximately about by there, the front end of the block. With my arm that far forward, the centre of balance is within that area. I bring the gun nicely back into my position itself, so I do lean back quite a lot. But where I lean back, I counterbalance that with my leading arm being quite far forward on the stock itself. And for myself, it is quite very comfortable and very stable. In terms of range finding, I do it while I'm still in the standing position. A lot of people will sit, other people will actually kneel down and do the, the actual range finding at that time. Personally, to save time for myself, what I would normally do is find the target. Range find the target that, that, like this. 25 yards. And that's nice and stable for myself. Well, Mark, thank you very much indeed. That was some fantastic information there, and there's a lot of tips there that I think I will use myself to try and get to the same dizzy level of yourself when it comes to field targets. So thank you for that. No but problem. seriously though, if you had three tips to give the guys back home as to how they can excel at field target, what would they be? First one I'd give, um, join a good local club um, and speak to experienced shooters within the field target club that you're in and ask them as many questions as possible. They'll have a wealth of knowledge to help you out with your sitting position, kneeling position, standing position. Um, and the experienced shooters will always be willing to help you all out from junior level to the veteran class level. Um, second tip, pick the right kit for yourself. You could spend a lot of money, but you don't have to. You can be competitive with a, a rifle and scope that's not as expensive as what you will find in the shooting clubs, within the field target clubs. What I'd say is, is try out as many guns as possible. Um, you will find again that within a good club, the experienced shooters will have various rifles on hand. You can try whichever ones then suit you. What, what I would say is then once you find the one that's the most comfortable to use, that would be my choice of gun to pick. Simple reason being, if it feels comfortable, you're in a lot more relaxed, stable position. You can work your shooting around the actual aspect of being comfortable in that position. Third, the third tip I would give, as long as if you're a junior, mom and dad lay you, practice as much as possible. I'm often up this club two to three days a week, depending on what I'm working on at that time. Um, but yeah, if you can, practice as much as possible. Um, get used to your kit more and you'll find as every week goes by, you get better and better and progress more. Shoot as many local competitions as you can and you will see yourself your steady gradual improvement then as you go along with it. So that was Mark Bassett's Field Target Masterclass. Now he's also a great friend of mine so I don't really want to learn too much from him but I am going to steal some of his better ideas and kick his ass in the Welsh Masters tomorrow. Maybe, maybe. To find out more about getting into field target shooting visit thebfta.net
Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, gear, air gun and now bow hunting videos on YouTube.